Hello guys, today I want to talk about money or in fact how to deal with money data in Laravel project. Things like this one. So for example, how to store the database data of value and currency and how to show that on the front end, format that and also a bit better way is to cast the money data into a specific casting class which under the hood would use a PHP library specifically for money because money it's not just a number it's actually number and the currency and that number may be formatted in a different way so it's actually an object and we better deal with that structure as an object instead of just number so here's the demonstration in the database we have this product price in cents to avoid rounding errors so in cents we have this actually it is 42,000 and not 4 million so whenever showing that data we need to divide by 100 and also we have the currency euro pounds or dollars so typically to do that without any casting you would do something like this for each of the products something like this you show currency and you show the formatted price divided by 100 with two digits. But as I said, a bit better way structurally to deal with money is to actually work with that as money. For that, there are a few packages, libraries available, PHP packages, not specifically Laravel. The most popular one is Brick Money. Also, quite a popular one is Money PHP Money but I will show you this one. So what it does, it creates an object of money from two parameters, number and currency. And then you can deal with that money with various methods of operations, currency management, and stuff like that. So to create that object from our data, we need to have sense and we need to have currency. And here we can use custom casting from Laravel, which appeared in Laravel 7 from what I remember. So first we generate the class of casting with PHP artisan make cast and I called the class money. Money implements cast attributes and it needs to have two methods, get value and set value. Instead of having attributes like accessors and mutators, which would be only for one value, we have two values of value and currency and cast that into the money class and from the money class. So when we're setting the data, we're setting the price as value, or if it's a money object already, we get the integer of that value. So this is the syntax of that package. But when getting the data, and this is probably more important in this demonstration, we get money of minor from those two database fields, and the result is money object. To enable that automated casting, in the model, in the eloquent model, we have this protected casts. We specify the price field from the database to be transformed automatically into the money. Similarly, in Laravel by default, fields like created at and updated at timestamps are automatically cast to carbon object and we can use carbon operations with them. So what that allows us to do finally in the end change index blade from this into much simple format like product price which is now money object and then we can use any method from the money package for example format to and we can provide the format which is in us for example and now we can comment out all that long line refresh the page and we have this formatting even with currency signs instead of letters of EUR. And another advantage of that is not just the shorter code, but it may be reusable. So instead of repeating all that long line everywhere you need to show that price, you can, for example, make that format configurable or maybe even by user. So that could be a variable. And then everywhere you need to show that variable, you just repeat the shorter code with the parameter. So this is kind of a more structured, kind of a proper object oriented way to deal with more complex structure than just a number. Money is a good example of that. And also on top of that video demonstration, I can recommend an article I've written recently on my Laravel daily com available only for premium subscribers. And that's by the way, I thought of this as a kind of a strategy of putting out content. So I will dive deeper into some topic. I will write a premium tutorial here on Laravel daily. Premium means around 2000 words or more. So quite a deep dive. And I will shoot a short version demonstration of some part of that article here for free on YouTube. So if you want 
want to read the article dealing with money best practices, which would cover the thing that I've mentioned in the beginning of this video. So floats versus integers, the same packages and casting, currency conversion and Laravel wrappers. Go to laraveldaily.com, subscribe to yearly or monthly membership and get all the premium tutorials. And that's on top of 25 courses or so available here as well on the platform. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.